Oh, hello there. We had a big, big, big debate over who would say, oh, hello there. Allie and Aiden here for Thursday Night Wings and, and a very nervous pepper. Very nervous, Pepper. Susan, hello, how are you? Welcome in. Hello, Melix, how are you? Um, Pete is at a track meet tonight. He's going to, I think, what time's the last event? 10.30. 10.30 the last event is. Hello, Joanna. Meg, Hollywood Studios. Oh, so jealous. Yes. Where, where precisely are you right this second so that we can live vicariously through you because my goodness Susan that's fine thank you for stopping by I have sad news for you Susan I knock on wood but I don't know that Mary's gonna be ending up in Montana I think she'll be close I think she'll be close Idaho, Idaho. that's next to Montana okay thanks buddo so yeah oh Meg's in line for rise must be nice <laughs> Whereas here we are, and it's raining, but it could be worse. It could be snowing, yeah. right? You know, Laura, Ryan, how are you? I will say, I know that I sent you a picture, but Pete's day was, Pete's day is just made, and he is so incredibly excited to open up. He keeps saying, when can we open up the package from my buddy? My buddy, he keeps saying, so... Hello, DC. How are you? Welcome in. You have to tell DC all about your Newsies experience so far. Why? Why? Because that's what we do on live streams. But no, like, uh, because, Broadway. Uh. Yeah, because DC um, does, you do, like, forensics. And he does a lot of theater reviewing, and he's coming to New York in June, so we might go see a show with him. Isn't that cool? How have you enjoyed playing Jack so far? What do you like about it? All of them. All of it, every single, including when your mother yells at you. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Abby. How are you? Welcome in. For those of you who are just joining us, Lauren, hi, welcome. We have a new face. This face, well, it's a sort of a new face. It's a new face sitting to my left for more than half an hour because uh, Pete's at track. He's going to be there 1030 again, that last event, which is nuts. So here's what we have planned for, for this one for tonight. All right. If you saw Pete and I did a taste test the other day and we got some chips that are just rather exciting flavors. And so your dad and I ranked them one, two, three, four, five. All right. And so I'm going to give you these chips and we're going to see if you what you think compared to what your dad and I thought. Okay. All right. So let's reach. You don't look. I'm going to show all of them what we're going to start with. Um, this was a mashy box. So this was like $16 on Etsy or something. All right, reach in here. Oh, you know what? I should probably just hand you. Here you go. So, Pepper is, is intrigued. <laughs> Meg, have an amazing, amazing, amazing time, and uh, we will all live vicariously through you. It's like a orange chicken flavor. You know what? That might be what it is, because this is that weird, yeah, corn. like a honey barbecue kind of a chicken thing. What do you think? Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I was not a fan. Your dad liked these. Your dad would go back for a second, but I said no. I said no thank you mm. to those. Mm. So, all right. Number two. Oh, this one. I, can't even see I know you're not seeing. I'm showing. I'm showing everybody else. This was. I had strong feelings. Well, I shouldn't even say that. I should remain impartial. What's that? <laughs> I don't. I don't even know. Is that the scallop one? <laughs> I can okay. smell it. Ew. I know. That's gross. You like scallops too? No. I don't. Don't? no? No, I don't. Really? No. Why did I think that he liked scallops? I don't even know you. I like scallop, scalloped potatoes. Oh. <laughs> so you like you like things in scallop form, Guess, but not. Um, Cassie's dad makes really good scallop potatoes. Really? I don't know. But yeah, these these chips they mm. very very much taste like scallops, which is just an odd thing for a chip. So would you put these above or below? The honey barbecue. Below. Okay. Your dad really liked these. 
Your dad really likes well, these. Well, that's weird. So. <laughs> all right. So next. All right, everybody. This. Yeah, you can you can probably get your get your little pinchers into that. Ew, what? Yeah. Like ramen. I know. What do you think? Sweet. Yeah. Oh my is it? The, see, I. What do you think it tastes like? I don't know, dude. It's like. Teriyaki? Lauren, I'm gonna send you these scallop chips. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Derek. How are you? I'm feeding my son oddly flavored like potato chips. Teriyaki. Yeah, you're not wrong. This was. So this is like ramen, but it's like hmm. beef ramen, basically. So what I'm do you think? Probably the best one so far. Really? Yeah. I I thought that this would be interesting if we put like your um, goodbye, Jody. I thought this would be interesting if we put some of like your spicy stuff on it. What is that mm. stuff that you like that you put on everything? Tahin. Tahin. Yes, he puts it on every everything. Everything like this child's pizzas are exciting. Okay, so we have two more left. Where are you gonna put the little ramen things on the spectrum? One right now. Yep. And the the uh, the first thing. What was okay. That? The you know, the, the like honey barbecue. Yeah, and the scallop. Okay. All right. All right. So next, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give them these. Yeah. Is your palate cleansed? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I'll give you. I'll give you. Oh, I'll give you a healthy size chip. There you go. Try that one. It's like sour cream and onion. It's probably the closest thing. This is Korean cream cheese and garlic. Hmm. What do you think? Probably the best one. All right. Probably the best. All right. That All one right. and then the, whatever I just ate, the beef ramen. The ramen and thing? The barbecue and then the, um... So far you're about where dad and I fell. The scallop, again, the scallop is, I don't know, I don't know what your father was thinking with the scallop. Yeah. All right, last but not least. Ready? No, what are you, what are you doing looking? No, is. stop. It has a warning on here that it might cause like birth defects. It's like spicy rum. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not, you're not like, have another one. No. No. <laughs> like, it's spice, not, is it but... getting spicier? No. It's really? Not, it's not really spicy. This child's palate. This child's, Lauren, I'm going to send you. Like, you should get one of these boxes, number it's, one. It's not that Number spicy. two. No? See, I thought it was very, very, very spicy. That is is crab. You think like I know everything is spicy. I do, I do, I do not have a high tolerance for spice at all. That what pepper, is it though? Pepper is following the proceedings with great interest. What's it supposed to be? That is crab and black pepper. It's not that it's spicy. It's not that bad. What do you like best? The sour cream and onion one. That was yeah. That was the one, one that your dad and I. Lights best, yeah. Korean, that's probably, green cheese and garlic. That's probably second, and then the ramen thing. And yes. Then the, the barbecue and then yes. the scallops. Good. You are allowed to to stay in the chair. You're allowed to dare I say stay in the family because you mm, you great. did what we did. Yeah. Good. So congratulations. We'll continue to clothe, house, and feed you. Okay. So now we are going to move. The boy has brought news. I said your dad. <laughs> What, the spice it, hitting it him? It just hit my throat. <laughs> <laughs> I told him your dad brings news every week, and so a newsmaker you must be. So, he brings Disney um, news items. So what do you got for us, buddy? It was like, what do you got? Earlier this week, the Disney Wish, which is the new uh, the new uh -huh. cruise ship, uh -huh. was put onto the water for the first time. Ooh! Is anybody in the chat going on... The wish, like this this summer, even though they pushed everything back. Oh, Ryan and Derek are glad that you get to stay. Oh, that's that you passed the test. I'm glad. They're yeah. Glad. Yeah. Um, yeah, we are not going to be going on a Disney cruise. Oh, I just heard from Pete. He's apparently leaving now. Maybe he'll like 
like Wait, burst what? in why for he, the end. Why is he leaving? I don't know. Maybe they're done. Oh, I guess the sprinters are probably done because he probably doesn't have to coach distance. Oh, he's so he's like, sprinters. that's it. I'm Because I think they're. I don't think they're doing a finals for like the hurdles and the sprints. Oh, okay. So. Well, he said that a couple of his runners made the finals. Mm. Anyway. Maybe anyway. Um, yeah, DC, I agree. I think it looks beautiful. I think that all of the Disney cruise ships are amazing. Um, it, yeah, Lauren, which I, I think, I think Pete and I have said, dad and I have said at some point, like we win the lottery. I think we're taking all these people on a cruise with us. Um, all of them. Every single one. Great. So it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be fun. I think it'll be interesting. <gasps> Look who just joined the chat. Dad just joined the chat. Whatever. What? Whatever he says. Pete, you'll be happy to know that he did not like the scallop chips, and he did like the cream cheese chips. Or so they just finished early. They yeah. Just finished really early. Yeah. Kelly, hi, Christina. Hello. Welcome in. We are talking about the Disney Wishes Maiden Voyage. Do you have anything on your list about the Star Wars Hotel? No. Okay. What I am interested to see more than the Disney Wish and the cruise ships is what kinds of information starts coming out from the Star Wars Hotel. Mm. Especially as people start getting in those box trucks. Mm. Have you seen it? Have you seen the box trucks? It's like to get from the hotel to the park, they like put them in a U-Haul. It's, it's a U-Haul kind of a truck. Weird. It makes me laugh every single time I think about it that you're spending like five thousand dollars to get put in a box truck. Yeah. So, anyway, all right. So we got the wish, mm -hmm. which is sea seaborne now, which is sea yes. seafaring. Yes. Adrift. Yes. Afloat. Yes. So <laughs> the next thing is that I think it was um is Mom, yet okay. Move on. The same thing to me. I'm trying to get this out. <laughs> um, All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Number two. So two. I think it was yesterday that yeah. the Disney parks lifted the mask mandate for vaccinated guests. Yes. Yeah, so right now there should just be people with their upper lips bared in the parks. Were we there when we were there in June? Did they um, lift it while we were there? Yeah. So basically, they what did. it was was it was it was I think it might have been right before. Mm. But then they, it was weird. They, like, switched it back and forth when we got there. I don't think it was there when we got there. Like, I think it was masks indoors when we got there. But outdoors yes. and on a bus you had ha Or outdoors you could you didn't have to, but on a bus you had to. And then, um... And then they switched it to we didn't have to wear one indoors. Luna. We only had to wear one on a bus. Right. And then it was right after we left, they switched it back to indoors. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see... To see what happens. I mean, hmm. yeah, yeah. Um, all right, just roll. <laughs> Your dad gives you the advice. Just roll with it. Just plow through. See, I don't know if they can tell. I don't know how can I don't know how they can tell who is and who is the next one. That's a very very good question, Kelly. I don't know because I don't think that they're. Um, like you have to show your card or anything. Those are with I think it's. I, I know it used to be honor system. Yeah. Because we saw that there there was a little. I mean little controversy when all of a sudden it came out that a, a vlogger running around the parks may have not been vaccinated but what do i know i'm just yeah. a lady holding her puppy on the internet up in pennsylvania True. so uh, okay. <laughs> what do you got for number three uh, is my last one yes all right make so, it good disney has increased the prices on multi-day tickets and park hoppers which is the first big ticket price shift since march of 2019 Yes. It's almost three years. Do you know how much the I price... Do. You do! So, um, t tickets for one to three days haven't changed. Okay. But four days were $434.83 to $596.74. Yep. But now it's $447.70 to $596.74. So it's not, yeah. it's not huge. Right now, it's every, like, all the days tickets pretty much all went up about $15. Okay. And then for Park Hopper. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly says shocker. <laughs> Park Hopper is also about 15. That, well, I mean, that's about what? 10, 12%? I mean, that's, mm. 
it, it just, they just keep edging things up. That's what I have to say about that. Are you knowing that, like, I mean, we're not going anywhere this summer. We're basically sitting here. Um, are you sad that we won't be going back this summer? I don't know. I guess. Would you we'll like see. to go back? Okay. I don't know. I mean, obviously, yes, but, like, right. if right. we don't go back, you know, we won't go back. Okay, we'll go back. How about sometime? At some point. We'll go back sometime. Yes. So, there, hi, Lisa. How are you? Welcome in. We're talking about rising prices at, at Disney World. Aiden has brought some news to the table. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Here is what our little next, next thing is planned. I am giving the boy a piece mm -hmm. of paper, blank paper. I am giving the boy... No, that's game time if we, like, use the internets. We're not using the internets. That's where I'm at, Kelly. I'm Kelly. I said, all right, so Mary's Mary's in college, and this one's going. So we're going to play a little bit of um, match game with you guys and with Aiden. Uh, I'm, I have drawn up a list of questions on the back of this envelope because we are fancy people. I'm going to ask this boy a question. He's going to write down his answer. Let's see if you all can match. Some of these I think that you know. Oh, Some should. of them you might not know. Okay. Number one. Ready? Yeah. Don't let him see. Don't let him see in the chat. Mm -hmm. This is one that you all, they if you've been with know. us. Yeah, you should know. They what should. is your favorite ride oh. at Disney World? <laughs> this hasn't changed for like our past three, four trips. So in the chat, what do you think Aiden's favorite ride is? I know that we have mentioned it, that every time we see the, like a pin or something. Um, so what is Aiden's favorite ride? <laughs> and Kelly, I think $12,000 for a week. And especially even if it is like at a value resort, it's, it's insane. It is insane. All right, people are weighing in mm -hmm. on. Has this changed, or has this been pretty? I think it's been pretty. It's plateaued. I it's think. plateaued. Yeah. I will say that he was very, very upset. We tried to end one trip. Do you remember that day when we were at this place trying to go on this particular ride, and oh, it was and like, down, yeah, it was and we down. like kept going back yeah. and kept going back, and finally we had to tell him, like, buddy. Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. All right. So get your guesses in. I'm going to give you about 10 more seconds. Do you want to count down? 10, <laughs> 9, <laughs> 8, 7, 6, the five, slowest countdown. 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. And... Expedition, why do you like Expedition Everest? So uh -huh. point for Ryan and Laura, point for Kelly, point for, I think, Christina. Somebody else had it. Um, why? What do you like about it? I don't know. It's Great. Just, it's just cool. It is. It I is. Like it. it is really, really, really fun. All right. Rip off. Flip it over. I think this next question, this, this surprises me. Ready? Yeah. Who is your favorite character? And like Disney character? Yeah. Um, As opposed to what? Hello, Tammy. <laughs> How are you? We're playing the match game with Aiden, who is filling in okay, but like, for Pete. I don't think it's what you think it is. Okay. It doesn't matter what I think it is. It matters what they think it is. What? It's not that other Stop. thing that I said on the stream last time. That's just my favorite of that. Category. Okay. Well, we are learning things this evening. Really? Yeah, because I like the. Uh, okay, you can give a hint. Oh. Okay, well that's a separate. That's another oh, question okay, coming up, I'll, people. I'll switch it then. I'll switch it. Then. All right. I'll switch it to that other one that you're thinking of. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So who's? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Who is your favorite Disney character? All right. Ten. <laughs> Nine. The slowest, the slowest eight, countdown. Seven, Get six. 
Tammy, I'm basically uh, asking Aiden questions. And would you take that? That, <laughs> that is Luna just like shredding her little heart out of paper. Two. Oh, she's going to go over there now. One. All right. The answer is drum roll. Yes. Ryan um, and Laura get a point. Danielle, Nick. you get a point. Yes. Awesome. Why do you like Donald? I don't know. Great. <laughs> All of them, I, I don't know. I just... I'm just going to stop asking that. Um, okay. What? Question number three. What is your favorite Disney snack? Favorite oh. Disney snack. I think I know this one too. Not based on what he started to write. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Okay, hmm. so what is your favorite snack in Walt Disney World? I thought you were going to to say what I think is probably your second favorite snack in Walt Disney World. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 This nah, we've mentioned this. this. We've mentioned this a few times as the I will I'm gonna go on record and say this is the entire family's favorite yeah. favorite snack yeah. in on Disney property. We talk about it like every vlog. Oh, because it's every so time. flipping good. Oh. I would have this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. I, it, and it's not at all breakfast, lunch, it's... dinner appropriate to do so. Oh. Where, like where, where is oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Noble guesses by everybody, but the buffalo chicken chips at Animal Kingdom. At Animal Kingdom. Trilobites. Trilobites. Trillo. Trillobites. Trillobites. Why Trillo? Triceratop. I don't know. Okay. I think it's Trillo. These things are it's like... really good. Yeah, they're like russet chips, and they have buffalo sauce on them, and then they have blue cheese. Oh, my gosh. It, and then shredded chicken. My goodness, they are so good. All right. Favorite, Favorite. Disney resort. We have been fortunate enough to stay uh. at a whole bunch of them. We've stayed at the Valley Resorts. We've stayed... Once we stayed at Riverside, like back in 2017, and we've stayed at a bunch of the, we've ran in points the last few times that we've gone, and so stayed at a bunch of the um, deluxe. Uh huh. Oh, Laura, put it on your list. It, it, these are, try and make it at home. I mean, oh, these are, these chips are the best. Okay. Okay. All right. So, favorite Disney resort. This is some place that we have stayed. For those of you who monitor where we go. So, and I would say... Mm, actually, mine is different, but... Really? Yes. Yes. So, get your guesses I I know what in... Saying. Okay, so you guess what I would say. What do you think yeah, I would Animal say? Animal Kingdom Lodge? No, that's your father's favorite resort. What was yours? Boardwalk? No. I don't know. What is it? I found it very relaxing. Polynesian? No! <laughs> Dude, what? <laughs> My favorite is Wilderness Lodge. Oh. I like yeah. Wilderness Lodge a lot. Um, all right. Aiden's favorite. Five. Oh. <laughs> four. Three. Aiden overrode two, me. <laughs> one. Beach Club! Uh, yeah, the lights said, okay. Beach yeah, Club. Beach Club is is phenomenal. And not just because of Beach the Club. lobby smell, but my God, that lobby smell. Mm. My I made Pascal, and Pascal smen smells just like the Beach Club lobby. All right, now you can do a previous answer, because my next question is, who is your favorite Disney princess? Because there is a story about you I want to tell. Oh, uh, is it the picture one? Yes. <laughs> it's the but, best then that, story. but then that ruins the movie. I know that's thing. a different that's a different princess. But who's your current favorite Disney princess? And then I'll tell them who your di favorite Disney princess used to be. Uh, my current. I'm, yes. I, I like this one. Yeah. It's a good choice. It's a very good choice. All right. Favorite Disney princess for the boy. What do you have? Do you have people messaging you? Do you have places to be? Me. Who's Some calling you? Number. Who? It was a random number from oh, good. Like Pittsburgh. Great. Maybe you've won money. Maybe you owe someone money. Sure. Great. <laughs> 
All right, the princesses are rolling in. And I'll give you guys a hint. If you know me and my favorite princess, it's the same princess. Is it? It is. I love uh, this princess. I think that she is fantastic. So as as you are guessing, um, I will tell a story about when this one was like two years. No, it was like when you were like a year and a half. A year and a half, and we went to Disney World, and he could barely walk. And one of my favorite pictures ever was when we went to see Sorcerer Mickey. It was when you could still see Sorcerer Mickey in Hollywood Studios. And he, Mickey got down on the floor and, like, held out his hands. And this one toddled over to him and, like, grabbed Mickey's hands. And the photographer said, over here, buddy. And both Mickey and Aiden looked... It is do the best picture. picture. We do. It's on the stairs. Ah. We should go get it. We'll show everybody. Um, but then, hello, Anna. Oh, you're going to go get the picture? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's in the stairs. Okay. It's in, like, the stair pictures. So the best story about this one, and to tell you that he really wow. hasn't changed one bit, is we went to the Princess Hall, all right? And so we met, it has Aurora, and then there was Cinderella, nice. and then there was... Ooh. There you go. There's the big boy here. Pull it back a little bit because there he is. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, it's so yeah. cute. Hey, Mary, how are you? How's the weather down there? Up there. Uh, Anna, yeah, this is Pepper. Pepper was very, very nervous when all of a sudden Aiden sat down instead of Pete. And she's still not quite sure what to do with this, but we're going to roll with it. So anyway, so we go to Princess Hall. We, they kind of shuttle you through. We meet Aurora. It's lovely. We move on to Cinderella, and Mary is meeting Cinderella. And all of a sudden, I see that Aurora is still looking at us. And I'm like, what the, what the heck is going on? This one is like, <laughs> like looking back and like waving at Aurora. It was the funniest thing. And then Aurora came over and like whispered to Cinderella about it. And then they both told Belle, like, oh my gosh, it was, it was the sweetest little thing. So anyway, all right. Who is your favorite Disney princess? I saw it. Why Tiana? I don't know. This is like cool. She is cool. Yeah, she's mine. She's my favorite, too. All right, so point for Danielle. Who else had a point for Kelly? Magical Disney Pals. All right, next. What is your favorite non-Star Wars Disney movie? Oh, he's starting to write quickly. Mm, okay. Mm. No. Well, no. yeah, I'm asking you a clarifying question. No, I'm okay. absolutely okay. not. Okay, okay. Yeah. He, he feels strongly about, about this particular choice. So, favorite Disney movie. That's not Star Wars. That is not Star Wars. If you did pick Star Wars, we just had a fierce to be. I might, <laughs> I might have been. Call him out. I, I might. Out. No, yeah. I'm not going to. I But I might have been. Talking in loud tones with one of my my kiddos at school about um, why Attack of the Clones is trash. <laughs> like, my yeah, Empire, it would and, be and why the storyline of Attack of the Clones is utter trash. And Empire Strikes Back is the best. It's so. what your dad thinks too. Yeah, it's so it's I bad. I don't have an opinion except that that I'm being forced to study all of them for trivia night. With the Melics in a few weeks, which is super exciting. I like Trivia Night. I love I like the prequels. He, he really... I love Phantom Menace. Yeah, Phantom Menace My is second favorite. like... Yeah, hi for him. Okay, Thank so you. we are going to... Mulan. The cartoon one, not the live action. Not the live action. The live Why action Mulan? doesn't have any uh, music. It either. doesn't... Yeah, what's your favorite song from Mulan? Be a Man. I used I used to when I used to in my running days I used to go on that in the end of the run. So anyway, all right. Favorite. I have two more. I have one more for everybody to guess. Favorite place to be in Walt Disney World. Oh. Um... What is your favorite place on property? Actually, let's say in the parks. Okay. We we're gonna go to the parks. We'll mm. drop you wherever you want to go. Where are you gonna be dropped? Um, 
Where would I want to be dropped? I think I would want to be dropped right to the entrance of the Magic Kingdom because I love the anticipation, like when you're going through the turnstiles, like right about to go in. So where is your favorite place that you want to be dropped? Lauren, have a wonderful live. We will be over once we are done. I cannot wait. Is is Cousin Rich is going to be there? Is Tom going to be there? Tom with cat? <laughs> So we will see you soon. Hello, Moors. How are you? Welcome in. That's a great one. Yeah. Oh, Butto. That's very, very nice. I will say this is one of our family's favorite places to be. Yeah. 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 <laughs> At first. Yeah. <laughs> that would be nice. It would, yeah. Lyric, hi. How are you? Welcome in. All right. So... Three, two, one. Why? Because I like it. The entrance to Toy Story Land is cool. With the Which Woody are and, uh, are you coming into Toy Story Land? With the, where the Woody from... is. Where okay. Woody is. Okay. Then, yeah. And then you could go right on Toy Story Mania, exactly. which is one of our. Fa Aiden and I have had fierce, I'm good at it. fierce competition no, because it's more of us helping each other. Because your mother helps you. Exactly. There was a trip where I beat you. Remember that trip like where once. you would get so much. No. Oh, that was, that was like early. That was, that was like no. early. <gasps> Last like four trips, I like destroyed it. There was a solid like four or five times. And then he would be like, oh, let's switch it up. Like, I'm going to go with dad just because you wanted to win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, I was like you 14. Were, right, exactly. You were, four, you were 14. Mm -hmm. You were a big boy. <laughs> All right. Um, good job, chat. No one ate it. Now, Chat won't necessarily know this, but what is your favorite? What's your favorite memory of Disney World from all of our trips? What is your favorite memory? Probably the Skyliner, watching the whatever that fireworks thing was. Yeah, what we saw Epcot Forever. Epcot here's House. here's pro tip. We've taught we've said said this like we have we've hours. said this, and I'm gonna say it again because we always have new people coming in and out. We got on the Skyliner. Fireworks were starting. Pete started the soundtrack for Epcot Forever, and so the soundtrack matched up with the fireworks. Oh, it was really, really, really cool. Really cool. All right, we are going to... So what do we not want? What do we not want? We're going to open we... up some pins. So what now. are we... More or less... All right. By what do we not want, I mean, what are we going to get? Let me... <laughs> let me... Let me... Tell everybody what these are. Pete and I opened up some of these earlier this week. This is the Disney World 50th pin. Oh, so, so far, yeah, what do we, have? we have Epcot Ball. Okay. All right. Yeah. We have the castle. Mm -hmm. I have traded for... Our lights are dying. So mm -hmm. I have traded for... Kelly, what are you sending? Tower of Terror. And I believe I've traded for Tree of Life. So we are looking so for Everest, Everest and, and Small World. Small World. All right, okay. so let's well, let's crack one Everest of these. Let's see light. if you can get beginner's luck. Maybe I'll get some Everest. All right, people. Yep. Luck. Yep. Nope. No. This feels like an Epcot ball. No, no. Who's the prettiest girl in school, Aiden? The Epcot ball. Oh, no, it's the Tree of Life. All right. We had that. Well, though, now right? we have, well, we, we have one coming because I traded for it. But now we have another trader in okay. case we don't, uh... He is a pro with pins, DC. All of a sudden, he's saying, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? All right. Let's see if you can pull Everest. Everest in Small World. That's what we need now, Aiden. This. Does it feel this mountainous? This feels either like. All right. Well, Danielle, if you need, uh, now we have a Tree of Life double. This feels like a tree. DC is right. We do need Bucket Hat. This, I forgot This to... feels like a tree. Feels like a tree? All right. Open it up. See if it's a tree. This, hmm? what is it? Oh, it's a Tower of Terror. Okay, so right, Malik, yeah. now we have Tower Four of Terror more. too. Four more. We do. So we have a Tower of Terror. We have a. We have a Tree of Life. <gasps> did we get it? Yeah. Nice. Right. We got the Everest. All right. Small oh, world. she's pretty. Oh, he's moving on. But she's pretty. Oh, well, that's awesome. All right. So we need Tower, uh, small, um, small World. world. We need right. Small World, and that's it. Nobody is getting Small World so far. It's crazy. This does Was not it, feel like... Does not feel Small World-ish? No. Does not feel Small or World? No. All right. 
Well, we got one more. Go ahead. What do we got? Oh, it's another tree of, life, tree of life. It's another tree of life. Yeah, Melix are like, yes! <laughs> we can trade for everything. All right, people, one more. Mm, do you want, here you go. See? And that's how the pin stuff starts. Mm, you think it's a Tower of Terror? I think it might be another Tower of Terror. Ah, uh, oh, it's a castle! Dang it! Well, we All right. one. We did get one. So now we are looking for Small World. If anybody has Small World, we literally have everything except for the Epcot ball to trace. He's lining them up. <laughs> I mean, it's a gorgeous set. It's a gorgeous set. So, Danielle, you let us know. Let us know. Um, all right. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Not too bad. You got to eat some chips. You got to open some pins. You want to come back? Maybe. <gasps> A maybe from the boy. Everybody in chat, should he come back? They're all going to say yes. Of course they're going to say yes because you were enchanting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so everybody, we are going to take a little, we're all going to take a break. Go get yourself a drink. Um, and then we are going to head on over to Castles, Capes, and Clones. Lauren, Cousin Rich, possibly Tom with Cat, going to start at 9.30. Eastern. Um, so Eastern. 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 <laughs> so thank you, everybody, so much for stopping by, keeping me and Aiden company. Pete will be back next week. And... Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. Above all, thank you for watching. And with that, um, we, we, we invite you to set your imaginations free. Bye. Bye.